For next extrude activity, we're going to have a look at creating a bit more complex geometry and create this design or challenge in the bottom left hand corner. So we're going to create this using just extrudes and we're also going to create it mainly from a master sketch or a single sketch. So rather than what we've done here, okay, and we've used numbers of sketches, we're now going to save a bit of time. So we've got the drawing with the key dimensions and we've got the model as reference as well. So we're going to click on plus and go create new part studio. Wait a few seconds to create that. And then we're just going to drag it over here just to reorder it so I can flip between these quite easily. So I'm going to go to sketch. I'm going to click on this front work plane. Okay, press N to normalize or flatten that. We're going to create two circles on this origin. The first one's going to be 300. Okay, and I press F for fit. And if I go into drawing here, you can see I've created that outside one. We're now going to go for one that's 200. So C for circle. Okay, and type in 200. And then the next thing we're going to go for, okay, if we go to the drawing, we're going to start creating this geometry along the bottom. So it's 350, okay, by 100. So we just click off that. So 350, okay, by 100. So we're going to click L for line or go to line. We're going to wake up the origin by hovering over it, and this will give us a dotted line here. I'm going to click and drag out a horizontal line. I'm going to drag this up and then drag it along here to finish it. Now, if you haven't finished your sketch, okay, using uh, your left mouse button, you could always click Escape to finish that off. I'm going to press D for dimension, I'll select it at the top. And I'm going to select this and type in 350. And I'm going to type in 100, okay, on there. So let's have a look at the drawing. So yeah, 350 by 100, that's correct. And we're going to come back in here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to add a line that goes down, okay, the center here. And this will make our life a bit easier, as you'll see. So I'll just confirm that sketch. I'm going to go up to extrude, and I'm going to extrude this first bit here. So this half of the sort of the circle, okay, or ring. So if we go now into the drawing again and have a look, we can see that the the total for this is 200, okay, from front to back. So 200. So I'm going to type in 200 here and enter to confirm it, and I'm flipped it the correct direction and it's just a blind okay single extrude um we're clicking new because it's the first sort of feature we've created and we click the tick to save it it'll hide the sketch we just need to turn that back on and we're now going to go into extrude again and i'm going to select these two areas here if we look at the drawing it, you can see it's a hundred okay and that much that sticks out and we've also got the dimension here of a hundred as well so if we go back into the part and we type in 100 and enter and again we've got that going in the correct direction we're adding material so we're not clicking new because if you click new it will create two parts so we right click on there and just make sure we click add okay and the correct dimension and click tick so we've created that main bit now so we need, we've got a cutout here which we need to create which is 125 okay by 50 and it's this sort of cut out here so 125 by 50 hopefully i can remember that and if we we can have a sketch on this top bit here or we can sketch on the front it doesn't matter so we're going to sketch on the front okay i'm going to press n and then i'm going to drag out i could use two lines here or i could use a corner rectangle and i'm going to drag this out so it snaps to the edges we're going to dimension it, hopefully I can remember. Okay, the dimensions. Okay, so 125. If you've done it wrong, you check your drawing. Okay, you could always uh, change it. And if we have a look, it's going in 50 millimeters. So we're going to go up to here and we're going to click on extrude. It's already selected that sketch because it was active. And the problem is at the moment it's going in the wrong direction. So we want to go the other direction. We don't want it to add, we want it to remove. Okay, and we want it 50. Click enter just to view what that looks like. Okay, and that's going in as much as I want and I can click tick. So 
so that's saved. So again, any of these features can be edited by right-clicking and editing those. And the same again, any of the sketch can be edited as well by right-click on it in case you've done that wrong. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a angle on the back here. So as you can see, it's got a slice, okay, here. Now we could use, okay, if we go back into here, the part, we could use what's called a chamfer, but I'll teach you that in a future, okay, tutorial. We're just going to do this purely using sketches and extrude. So we're going to click on this top surface, or we could use the bottom, and I'm going to click on top or normal, and I'm going to use my mouse button. I'm going to do L for line. I'm going to click on this to snap to those edges. Okay. D for dimension. Click on the two points. That's already guess 50. That's a good guess. And D, okay, again, and that's slightly too big, so 50 by 50. I don't need to draw, okay, two more lines in. Don't need to do that. And I'm going to go extrude. I'm going to change the angle. Zoom in. And I'm just going to deselect it just in case, and I'm going to select this one here. So there's a number of different ways of doing this. So this is where the different options come up in here. So we could do a blind, and we could remember the dimensions, okay? We could do minus 100, or we'd do 100, okay, and just flip, okay, that direction, and I've got remove. So it's going 100, it's going to cut that off, that's going to be fine, okay? I'm just going to turn off the sketch. Oops, not that sketch there, that one there. The other options you've got as well is rather just doing a blind, you could do, let's have a look up to vertex, click that point, and it will still do the same thing. So you don't have to remember the dimension. Okay, we can also go up to face, spin this around, click on the bottom. Okay, he says, let's have a look, oh, done. Aha, I'm just going a bit wrong here. I've selected too many faces. You've got to be careful, okay, that we are selecting, okay, to go from that sketch, okay, down to that face. And again, that will remove it. And if we go in, so we've covered, so look, different ways of doing it. A simple blind. We've done a simple up to face. We've done an up to vertex, okay. You can do up to next as well and it will go up to next. And the other option you've got here is you could also do through haul all and it'll just cut through all there. So there's lots of different ways, okay, of using the extrude to create that feature. And if we spin that around, okay, that's that activity done. Thanks for watching. And if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.